Hello, hello, it's Marek Mulajic and welcome to another video in this series. This time we'll be using Premiere and what I want to talk about this time is some masking techniques. So I've got this clip in here and I'm just going to make a new sequence from this clip. And let's say we want to have some text appear here. So I'm going to grab a type tool, add some text maybe on the side here. Maybe we can do like coffee time, for example. I'll just switch to selection tool and go to effect controls panel just to make it maybe all caps and different font obviously let's go maybe for later uh, maybe regular is fine and just big as we can see it better there there we go maybe just a tad bigger okay say so something like that and i'm just going to keep it center aligned so let's say we want to make this text appear here uh, we want to mask it so uh, the way we've been doing it for quite a long time is when you have your objects your clips so i've got this uh, text clip in here on track v2 if i just collapse the source text here and transform just so it's easier to see you can create uh, these masks in here as an example i could use the rectangular mask okay and let's say if i just move it here and uh, resize it this is this has been always been one of the challenges here how to resize it proportionally but i guess if i do it like this it will be kind of okay and with the mask uh, we could keyframe it we could animate it we could animate say the mask opacity for example but there are better ways of doing it especially nowadays so i'm going to delete this mask in here and instead i'm going to add a shape an object so I'll use the rectangle tool for that <coughs> and oh, the rectangle where the text is supposed to be so i'm drawing a rectangle here <coughs> something important to remember is just make sure you don't have your text selected i mean your text clip on the timeline because otherwise the shape will end up on the same object you want it to be separate so i'm going to under deselect the text clip in the timeline and then draw a shape in here there to get a new clip so i've got this new graphic clip here in the timeline this one here got the graphic and the text and there's the background clip as well the clock okay now with this shape obviously this shape can be animated as you know i'm going i'm not going to worry about the color as such so go to transform properties and so on we'll get to it in just a second okay but here's an interesting feature with shapes if we pull the essential graphics panel which can be another way of editing the content in here we've got an interesting feature here on this shape we have an option to mask with shape in here so if i tick it it's actually going to show the text within the area of this shape so it's like a mask okay and going back to effect controls panel here now this shape can be obviously repositioned so i can move it say horizontally or vertically in here and if you start wondering why this doesn't seem to be working when we move when we move it that's because they need to be on the same clip actually that's one of these uh, pitfalls something to uh, remember about so i'm going to delete this graphic the shape and with the text clip selected they need to be together here in the essential graphics panel so with the text clip selected or draw rectangle as another layer in a way like this so they're all together here okay now with the shape selected we'll mask with shape so it's masking the layer underneath the text layer so make sure the shape is on the top in here and now if we go to the effect controls panel just collapse this if we just move it it's going to do this mask and we could animate it so i'm going to say this is what i want it to be at the end of the animation so i move the playhead forward a little bit to say about just over a second put a keyframe for position for the shape 
and then going back to the beginning I'll move this shape out of the way. Let's say I want this text to maybe appear letter by letter from, well, sort of letter by letter, from left to right. So I'm going to move it to the left so we can't see anything yet, like this. So we'll get this effect. Maybe too fast, so I'll move this keyframe forward a little bit more. So we get something like that. Obviously, we can make it faster. What we can also do to make it a bit smoother, the animation, is we can add some easing. So on the first keyframe, I'm going to right click, temporal interpolation, and then do ease out, and on the second to make it speed up. And on the second keyframe, <coughs> excuse me, I'll do easing to make it slow down a little bit just before it stops animating. Something like this. <coughs> and of course we can then reverse this animation at the end. So you can go to say about a second before the end, and the keyframe for position without changing anything yet, and then go to the end of the timeline, to the end of this clip, and then move it, maybe maybe make it continue going this way here. And again, in here, I'll do the ease out, and on the next keyframe, I'll do ease in. So I'll get something like this. Something that we used to do in After Effects, but you can do it in Premiere now as well. Now, because so we've been animating this shape, okay. However, because we have these two layers in here, the shape layer and the text layer, what we can also do is we can also animate text. So here's another idea, a different idea. So I'm going to remove these keyframes here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to delete all the keyframes, that's fine. Just want to keep the mask so the text is visible. And this time, I'll animate text instead. So in the text here, under Transform, again, I'll put a keyframe at about, say, maybe a second and a half <coughs> for position. And initially, I'll move it vertically down to make it disappear. You know, the first value is horizontal, the second value is vertical. So you get something like this. And again, we can do some easing. So on the first keyframe, I can do ease out to make it speed up. And on the second, on the second keyframe, ease in to make it slow down. So the text will speed up a little bit and then slow down. Maybe we can put it a bit closer together to make it a bit faster. Just like that. So there's quite a bit you can do with uh, shapes and masking in here. Just keep in mind that uh, you want to put the text and the shape together on the same clip on your timeline. That's even better because, you know, you could even export this as a motion graphics template, for example, and then keep reusing it in Premiere. So keep, keep in mind that you want to keep them together. So in Essential Graphics, we have these two layers, the shape and the text. And on the shape layer, which could be any shape layer, you can even use a pen tool or any, any tool, you want to mask with the shape. Okay, Okay. Uh, this was a quick one about uh, a new powerful way of masking in Premiere Pro. Uh, I'm Marek Mularczyk, uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, but you want to, please click the subscribe button as well. And thank you for watching this video, or let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And I hope to see you again in another video. So thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.